Hi guys! So I just filmed another video and I was in the mood to film one more so I tweeted about it and asked people what they wanted me to do a glitter gossip on and I got a request to talk about being homesick and it kind of hit home hard with me because I'm actually homesick right now so I could kind of like relate to the person that was asking it and actually believe it or not I get this request a lot and I just turned on my camera I didn't even like think about what I was going to say so I might be a little rambly and I might repeat myself and I'm going to try not to edit this video much because I just want to do it quick. But what was I saying? See, that's what happens when I say I'm not going to edit. I immediately go like, oh my gosh. Man. Okay. So, okay. So I get this request a lot. I get it a lot of times from people that are in college, especially like first year college students that are just like, I'm so homesick. This is my first time being away from home and I can't go home for three more months because I have classes. Or I get it a lot of times during the summer from kids that are at summer camp. I'll get an email from a 10 year old that's like, I'm 10 and I'm so homesick and I don't get to see my parents for, t for three more weeks. And I feel bad because homesickness is a really horrible feeling. And when you're feeling it, you feel so sad. My tummy is growling right now. It's lunchtime, I need to go eat. But um, you just feel like really sad and I actually get homesick a lot. I get homesick about every three or four months, like on the dot, around that time, I start getting homesick if I haven't been home. I actually haven't been home now since Christmas, so it's been over four months, and I'm starting to get that feeling where it's just like, I, I wanna go home, I miss my family. And my family came out and visited me earlier this month, so that helped a lot with homesickness. But I don't think it's just seeing your family. I think it's seeing your family in your home environment. So it's, you know, my mom's home cooked meals and I miss my cats and I miss my friends and I miss my room. And so it's, it's all of that. It's like just being back home and feeling like really safe and secure and feeling like you're being taken care of again. And I think there's also a little bit of a generational difference between our parents and our grandparents and us. Like every time I complain to an older person, about being homesick, they're always like, I moved out on my own when I was 14 years old and I walked 12 miles in the snow to work every day and I was self-sufficient and I was fine and you'll be fine too. It's okay to feel like you're an adult. Like I'm almost 23. I've lived on my own now for five years and I still get homesick. It's okay to sometimes feel like you need to be taken care of even if you're a completely self-sufficient adult and you're paying all your own bills and you're living on your own and you've lived on your own for years. My bracelet is jangling my little I just did a video on this on my beauty channel. What I used to do, especially in college when I would get homesick, because in college you really had to like figure out a time where you could go home with classes. I didn't live drive, well I did live driving distance away. I lived like a six hour car right away. But I definitely didn't live close enough to just go home for the weekend just for fun. So I had to kind of plan it. And so what I would do when I would start feeling homesick is I would look in my calendar and I'd figure out the next time I'd be able to go home and I would just plan to go home during that time. And that way I was able to, um, my camera is dying again. My camera died when I was filming my first video this morning and it was driving me crazy and I was having to speed talk and then I deleted a bunch of footage and now it's dying again. It just doesn't like me today. What was I saying? Okay, so I would, you know, write it down on my calendar and then I would kind of plan on going home and I would have something to look forward to and it'd be like, I'm going home in a month and then I'm going home in three weeks and it would just help the time go by faster. I think a lot of times people can't just go home whenever they want. That's why they're homesick is because they don't have the ability to just go home. They either have to save up the money to go home or they have to find a time that works for their schedule. Maybe you have your own family and you have to take care of your own kids before you can go home. Like, I feel like even my mom gets homesick sometimes. I think that it's completely normal even as an adult to get homesick and kind of miss your family sometimes and kind of miss that like childhood feeling of just being taken care of. Another thing that I tend to do when I'm homesick is I just call my mom and complain. I'll just call her and cry to her about how I miss her and how I miss being home and that always helps because at least you feel like someone's comforting you which I'm kind of hoping this video is doing in a way is kind of like comforting those of you that are feeling this way. This video is not really targeted for all of you guys which I try to do in most of my videos but for those of you that are feeling it or have felt it before or will feel it, hopefully this video will help a little bit. Oh, another idea, I was thinking about this like as I was talking a few minutes ago, is ask your mom or dad or friend from home to put together a little care package for you. Either make you cookies and send them in the mail or write you a letter, like a handwritten letter, just something or send you pictures even on your phone, something really simple. I think that just knowing that there's someone on that side of your life that you know is wanting to help you through it kind of helps. A lot of times I feel like if you are homesick, it's because you have a good home environment. There's a reason you want to be there again. 
And if you have that relationship where you get homesick, my phone is buzzing, then you probably have the type of relationship with the people that you're missing where they will want to take care of you and they will want to like make you feel better. So I remember one time in college, I was craving my mom's homemade pumpkin bread so badly. Like I, I wanted to go home and skip all my classes for a week just for her pumpkin bread and for her. And I called her and I was complaining. It was one of my crying to my mom because I'm homesick days. I don't do it very often, but sometimes in college I would get really homesick, especially freshman year. I think this was freshman year. And my mom ended up sending me like three miniature loaves of pumpkin bread in the mail, like in a, um, like in a cooler for me. And I still remember it. Like all my roommates ate some of it and they were all like so excited that we had like fresh bread and stuff. I don't know. It was really exciting at the time, but that like really helped me and it really helped me get through things. Another thing, this sounds really silly, but honestly, getting my cat, getting my kitten pine cone really helped me with homesickness here in LA because I'm really far from my family right now. I am not within driving distance of my family at all. I'm barely within a plane ride. I'm like a six hour plane ride away. So it's far, my camera's dying. But another thing for me is like, I was really missing my cats from back home and I always grew up with lots of animals. And so getting pine cone kind of made my apartment feel more like a home and it just kind of, made me feel like I wasn't just living in this like box in the middle of nowhere. Like I actually had more of like a little family environment here with my sister and her animal and me and my animal. It's like our little like family that we've made. Anyway, um, so yeah, I actually have less than a minute left on my camera again, which stinks because my camera just doesn't like me today. So I'm going to wrap this up. But for those of you that are feeling that way, you are not alone. I know how you feel. You can always write me emails if you want. I know I can't get back to every single one. I feel terrible if you guys write me like, heart pouring out emails and I don't get back to you. It's just, I get so many, but I do want you guys to feel like you can talk to someone. You can always go to the forum, ellenblair.com. There's a motivate and inspire section on the forum that I made, especially for things like this. When you're feeling homesick, when you're having trouble at home or with friends or at school and you just need someone to talk to. The girls on there are so supportive and so nice to each other and they can talk about anything and they support each other. I think it is the best part of our forum, personally. I love it, other than the book corner, which I'm kind of partial to as well. But I just think it's great to be able to go on there and get comfort from, you know, your online friends, especially if you don't have it in real life, if you don't have someone you can really go to for advice. So I definitely think that you could write on there as well if you're having any problems and get advice just from other girls that are into beauty and fashion and the same types of things as you. Just know that you're not alone and we all feel homesick sometimes and it's okay to feel homesick and just try to get home as soon as you can and if it's not possible, if you're in a different country or financially it's not possible, just know that it will get better and you'll get through it and you're probably just going through a time period where you're craving something from home, something about that security, but you will conquer the feeling. You'll get through it and you'll be fine. So I hope that this video, you know, helped some of you guys that are feeling this way. And I just feel like it was therapeutic to me just to ramble, especially since I'm feeling this way to kind of talk about my feelings as well. So if you want a video response, anything you're going through that's kind of like this, you can. And thank you so much for supporting my videos and watching them all. And it makes me want to put out tons and tons of videos for you guys. So on that note, I'm out. I will see you guys with my next video and have a great day.